Foxy fans, and welcome to episode one, the first official episode of the Pokemon Shield Wonder Night. <laughs> if you watched episode zero, thank you so much for your commitment. If you didn't, that's okay. We pretty much just skipped through the intro and all the dialogue and stuff. We finally have access to the surprise trade. So the rules of the Wonderlock is once you have access to actually trade via the internet, you must do so. So I actually went out and caught a Nicket so that I could put the other three members into the team. So we got Game and Fox, our Grookey, Pickles, our uh, Ricky Doo, and then Love Child, our Choodle, that we are required to send out and see what we receive. So let's do that now, and hopefully it works. I haven't tried it yet. Obviously, I couldn't exactly do it without it being on camera. So let's try it out. Surprise trade lets you trade Pokemon in a truly surprising way. Select Pokemon to trade and leave the rest up to us. As you adventure, we'll find an eligible trading partner and carry out the trade for you. So let's take care of your only job, choosing a Pokemon. All right, so apparently you can just let it do it in the background. But I can't. Like, I have to get this going so I can get the wonder lot going <laughs> all right so we're gonna send up Game and Fox first so let's select you Grookey I love you goodbye I grew an attachment even though we really didn't use you trade completed <gasps> goodbye Grookey to Thotty well thank you Thotty I hope you send over something good a naked exactly what I wanted I'm so stoked right now. All right, so our very first member is a Nicket. Goodbye, Pickles. Drid Killer. See what he's gonna send over. Oh, ooh, a Mud Bray. No, not a Mud Bray. Uh, that little ground pony. Yeah, Mud Bray. <laughs> Goodbye, love child. We didn't love you anyway. You strange morph thing. Oh, wow, we got such a variety. I can't complain. It's still uh, electric, right? Clink. Hello, Clink. It's just a steel. It's suspected that Clink were the inspiration behind ancient Pokemon's invention of the first gears. <gasps> All right, let's go check them out and add them to our team. That was pretty sweet. So going forward, we can actually, this was the Nicket I was sent. So let me switch that out. Um, but as we're adventure, don't tell me that was level 60. Ah. All right, we got to trade, trade Clink back out. Um, so the rules is it has to be about 10 levels within where the range that you're in, which can make it a little bit difficult. So let me go through and see what Pokemon I can get back for Clink. All right, Clink. Sorry, but I can't use you. You're way too overleveled. We can't make it that easy. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The sad frog! Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, Sobble shouldn't be overleveled. I can't imagine. Man, thanks, dude. All right, Sobble's level one, perfect. It must be one that was just breeded or hatched or something. So our official members right now are Nicket, Mudbray, and Sobble. Why don't we check them out real quick? This one I'm assuming was just caught in the wild. Yep, it's got run away, run away, normal, normal moves. Dritkilla, thank you. Nice set of moves. I can dig it. And you're just a little baby. Yep, you were born from the nursery. It's somewhat stubborn. All right, guys, that's awesome. I say that's a pretty good range. You know, we got dark, we've got ground, and we got water. So we can deal with that. We're gonna go buy some potions though, real quick. And then let's get on with our adventure. Yeah, I want a lot of those. We can't use revives. It's, uh, I guess I don't really need a lot of Pokeballs. Dude, though, that is an awesome team. All right, guess who's waiting for us? Yeah, our favorite guy, Hop. If I can walk, right? 
So out with it, Foxy. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got yourself... Oh, just one. Oh, well, thank you. I could, I could definitely use that. So the TMs in this game, um, the ones you get from the raid battles, you can only use once. But any that you find laying around the ground, you can get... Um, you can use multiple times. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh, they're good moms. What are you doing? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sable as a partner, darling. Which wasn't very long ago. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift. A set of camping gear. Sweet. The camping is pretty cool in this game, too. It, it really reminds me a lot of... <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, to be honest. We're off. We'll be fine. Don't worry about us. This game's gonna walk me through it anyway. Freaking hop. Yeah, just leave me alone, you air pump. Here we go, guys. Off on our adventure. Off on our wonderlock. So some little backup on the on the rules. If I do receive a Pokemon um, from like an NPC, the Wonderlock gave me the option where I can just keep that Pokemon because technically it was random and I was given that Pokemon just like a Wonder Trade. But I'm just gonna set my own rule where I'm gonna send that one off if I can, if it lets me, and Wonder Trade that and get the Pokemon via Wonder Trade. I feel like it'll be just a little more fun that way. Especially because I know that these kids right here will give you a Pokemon. Oh, the Wooloo were in the way. So now we have to go explore the wild area. Hey, have you had a Pikachu? Oh no, I was mistaken. No, it's this guy. Hey, have you had it? You and Eevee had a- I knew it! You've had a Let's Go experience. Haha, -ha, so we get an Eevee. So like I said, we're going to wonder trade off this Eevee. Hi, Eevee. Oh, I meant to give you a nickname. My bad. Yeah, I know it can Dynamax. It's a fluffy Eevee, too. Look at those Wooloo back there. I don't want to go anywhere, thank you. But next time we get the PC, we can do that. Five Pokeball dolls. Okay, so I actually decided, I know in episode zero, I was like, I can catch a Pokemon in each area. Well, I changed that. I will actually get to come back every gym badge to the wild area and catch a new Pokemon. Because if I just went to each little wild area and counted that as a new route, that we'd kind of just be overpowered in the Wonderlock, so it doesn't make any sense to do it that way. So I get to run in this time and catch Pokemon, and then when I get the first gym badge, I can come back to the wild area, catch another one to Wonder Trade, and then so forth. The, the third badge, the fourth badge, I can just keep coming back to do that. Because I was looking at the map, and it looks like there's probably plenty of routes to take care of us. And I don't want to just sit there and fill the box up. That wouldn't make any more. That wouldn't make any sense. Well, look at that one. That one uh, raid area looks like it's intense. Hey there, pretty lady. Your grand gave me an earful. That sounds rough. Never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been I've been quite curious about the Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something real huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I got some talent. Well, that's just kind of sad. I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. Sounds like you, Air Pump. They didn't let us name him, but I officially named him Air Pump. You got something for me? Haha, I thought so. Pokebox League. So we actually have the freedom to access our Pokebox anywhere, which is great, especially for the Wonderlock. So now we can go through and see what we can get from an Eevee. But we can let that load in the background while we run around. But our next destination is Modestoke. Look how beautiful that is. 
Now I just have... Whoa! Is that other trainers? <gasps> it is. Look how cool that is. Hello! Wishing how? I was walking along with this... Whoa, I got a bag of salad! Is it spoiled? Thanks, dude! Alright, and while that's searching, we can actually run around and find another Pokemon. So now it's really just a matter of... Do I want to just do one in the grass, or do I want to try to go for a raid Pokemon? Ooh, trade complete. You can heal up your Pokemon's health. Not from death, but their health. Via the camping feature. Another Nugget! Alright. So that's the dupes clause. If you get the same species, you can actually try again. So we're going to do that again. Figuring we're probably going to get a lot of those. Nick, it's not that bad though. He's pretty freaking cute. Eevee. Or not Eevee. Uh, Phoenix. That's a cool name for it, Phoenix. Josh, tell me you got something good, babe. A hoot hoot! Hey, I think we can deal with that as long as the level's good. to the Pokedex. Alright, what level are you? 18. That's perfectly fine. Let's check out his stats. Dynamax. Oh, he even has a Dynamax level. Oh, this must have been one of the raid battle ones. See, that's the scary thing. Now if I... Air slash confusion. You know what? I'm sitting here like... Like, ooh, I'll go into a raid battle and catch that Pokemon. It doesn't matter. I have to wonder trade it anyway. Durr. Alright, I'm not having any luck. So I'm gonna just use the random trainers so I'm not sitting here forever in a day. Let's see who it is. It said it was a ground type, but I didn't, I don't see who it is. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, a drill bird! <laughs> Whoa, that was loud. Hutu, that was a terrible choice. Torkoal's drought. So they got a Mudbray, a Torkoal, and I didn't see what Pokemon that was in the middle. But pretty much when you're raid battling, if you can't find somebody, you can actually just use the online, or the offline people. Wait a minute. Let's use Max Mindstorm. Now the sad thing is, is if we die, obviously we lose our Hoot Hoot here. But that's okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, that is so cool. You know, when I first saw the whole Dynamax thing, I was like, what? That's lame. But it's actually pretty awesome. And being able to just have gigantic Pokemon like this is so cool. Wow, you hit that mud very hard. They do seem underwhelming, though, I noticed. Like, you would think that that giant Pokemon would have just killed that little guy, but... Well, that was great. Ooh, what'd that do? The battlefield got weird. <laughs> Get him, Mudbray! Yeah, lower that speed. Giga Drain, oh, that's perfect. And a flamethrower. Well, that's a special attack, so that's pretty good, too. Let's try Max Airstream. I think we got him this turn, so... No, I, it goes too fast to read. Metal Claw, ouch, that hurt. Max Extreme. Oh, that did pretty good damage. Now, I don't know if I remember seeing this from the trailer or something, but I thought that the raid Pokemon could call smaller Pokemon as well, but maybe I'm wrong. Alright, I think we got him this turn. Dilemize. Eat it, Drillbur! Alright, now we can catch it. Yes, I want to throw it. Are you crazy? The experience Sobble's gonna get? Heck yeah. You get some really good items from them too, and again, you get a TM, but you can only use it one time. Oh, I thought it was gonna break out for a minute there. That brings us to today's question of the day. 
Let me know what you think of the raid battles. Do you think they're pretty cool? Do you think they're lame? Do you like the whole idea of teaming up with other people to Gigamax or fight these Gigamaxed, Dynamaxed Pokemon? I personally, I, I think it's pretty awesome. I thought it was lame at first, but... Dig... Diggler. We're naming Diggler. Yep. Super creative. Yep. Alright, let's get Diggler out of here. Alright, so Diggler's in the process, so let's go... Let's start heading over to Monostoke. There's really not much we can do here. Anyway. What is that? A trainer? Oh, it's so cool to see trainers just hanging out. Good evening. I stumbled upon this. A bag of pasta! Everybody has food in their pockets that they just want to hand out. Thank you. And our trade's complete. Alright. Let's see what, what our drillber... Erephim. Erephim? Alright, Erephim, what do you got for us? Oh, rickety! All right, we got another team member. Let's check them out. That would give us two flying types, but I think she's he or she is a dark type as well. Nope, just flying right now. Keen eye. Okay, so this is just a. It's French. That's cool. What's your name? Mini Sage. Mini Sange. I say that's pretty good. I think we got a pretty good team going so far. Well, we're out of encounters though, so let's get up to Motto Stoke. There's not much else we can do here. Hello, giant stairs. Are we ready to deal with Hop again? Nope. Not really. Another thing that I've learned about this game is these towns seem like they're really large, but they're not. Like, they have very minimal exploration. Freaking Pokemon X. That main city area, Luminia City, I think it's called, or something like that, is huge, right? You have so much to do, but these cities just seem so small. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong. I'm still loving the game regardless, but still. It kind of broke my heart when I was like, wow, I'm already done exploring here? Hey, over here! More dialogue. Did you see that choodle in that poster? What the heck is he doing? He's pulling the tablecloth, you little jerk. Seems like your trick ran your Pokemon ragged. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer. Yeah, what's that? What is it that I could have possibly missed? Rotom! Oh yeah, the League cards. Well, thank you. Oh, that's Leon's. I don't know, I didn't really want that, but thanks. Opening ceremony, huh? Yeah, that's what's next. That's where we're headed. Gonna go be the very best like nobody ever was. Let me see if I can nickname these guys. Truly, I can't say anything bad about it. Take good care. Oh, oh, darn, I can't. So I am stuck with the nicknames of them. Oh well. I was hopeful. Alright, look at that. We made our very first lead card all by ourselves. That's pretty fun to play with. Just more customization, really. Alright, Miss Nurse Joy, heal my Pokemon up real quick. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad they didn't reuse the 8-bit sprites like Let's Go did. Though it's kind of the same concept. Let's go and search for more dialogue. That Choodle, though. I saw you standing there, Sonya. I'm gonna do everything I can to avoid talking to you. And find this nugget waiting for me, calling my name. You can't go over here because the game code says you can't. Okay. Well, if the game code says, I guess I can't fight it. <laughs> I tried to sneak past her. 
So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Modestoke is? I'm here for the gym challenge. I promise you I didn't forget. Dang. Please, show me where it's at. I know I sound so sour, right? I'm just... When you've went through the dialogue one time... So I'm on the fourth gym badge so far on just my personal playthrough, right? When you've already went through this dialogue once, the second time isn't helping you at all. Especially now that you can create multiple saves in the sense if you create a new account on your Switch, you can just have multiple saves, right? In that sense. You can't, like, trade with yourself or anything, but it's there. Me a Pokeball, thanks. So now, every time you create a new game, or just want to play through a different kind of playthrough, you gotta go through all that again. This is what I get for spending all my money on hair and makeup. Now I am only 20, 40 dollars off from getting this nice red sweater. First world problems. That was that. Alright, let's move forward now. Will I go cry myself to sleep? Because I can't get that red sweater. Yeah, I only want to talk to you once. Hi, Onyx. The, the, the Pokemon are pretty... Or bleh. The Pokemon are scaled pretty well. A set of high-tech earbuds. Um, in the overworld. You can actually, it gives you the option now to... Let me go to the options. To change your, your sound effects. If you're like looking for a particular Pokemon, then you can turn up the Pokemon cries and listen for that. Grar. Charizard! Captain Underpants! I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. And you call yourself a champion. Foxy! One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. It's the red hair, I know. A miracle seed for the the grookey that I don't have anymore. But thank you, I appreciate it. You insensitive piece of crap. How could you not tell that grookey had been replaced with a nicket? You're supposed to give me dark glasses, black glasses. <gasps> My favorite guy ever! Ta-da! You took the time to talk to the Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. You obtained a Pokeball. In case you were wondering, I'm not just any old Pokeball I. Uh, but then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy! He is everywhere, and he is the best. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I think I can get a Pokeball over here. Hop, leave me alone! Urgh. You made it to Modestoke Stadium! This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everybody will be watching! But now we have to go sleep at the end before we can do that. Because we can't just go into it. I know there's a shiny over there. Yes, there it is. Burn heels! That's what you're gonna need, Hop, when I kick your butt! Yeah. First time, huh? Leon. I wonder what cut over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop, Leon's little brother. In fact, the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, yes, I'm trying to, if you'll just give me a moment. <laughs> you totally offended him. Okay, I'll give you one of those burn hills. Uh, my uniform number. <gasps> How about I do four? It's, my daughter's going to be four December 1st, so here in just like two weeks. So we'll do that. I'm here. Please wear this challenge band. 
Yep, we get to go sleep. We get to delay our adventure even more. Screw you and the planet you came off of. It was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would ya? It's positively criminal of you wasting the time of someone as important as I am. I want to call you a bad name. But I'll be nice. Jerk. Modesto, leave me alone. Yes. Yes. I know where the inn is. Let me walk. What if I go the other way, huh? Then what are you gonna do? What if I just, like, screw you? I don't wanna go sleep there. What if I wanna sleep on the streets? What if I wanna go snuggle with Mr. Balls? Hmm? Oh, look at the back of his head! Yeah, I'm gonna sleep here. Right here. Good night. Sweet dreams. Ugh, fine. Challenger Fox, have you ever... Okay, thank you for your tremendous help. You could have just said, take a left and look for the green sign, and I probably could have found it myself. I'm just saying. So now see, I'm in a rebel again, because you're just a jerk. Hello. What's over here? Oh, a Pokeball, see? Look, this is what would have happened if I would have listened to you. I would have missed out on this slip scarf. Okay. We're gonna get drunk off lemonades if I keep purchasing them. What do you want? Nothing. What do you want? Nothing. What do you do? Absolutely nothing! Most of these guys do that exact thing. Nothing. Fine, I won't go that way, jerk. You intentionally walked over there just to block my path. You knew I was gonna try to disobey. Fine, I'll go to sleep. But not because you told me to. Just kidding. What's down here? Oh, more secret spots. Something speckly. <laughs> Look at our animation run down the stairs. Those are some steep stairs. And I'm pretty sure I saw a TM down there. What is it? TMO2 payday. <gasps> Guys, let's end it off here. Look. Look. This is our encounter at Modestoke. We get an encounter here! So we can want to trade it off, and it's a magic car. Perfect. We didn't want it anyway. That'll give us six members in one episode. Sweet. And I was all worried there wouldn't be enough. Yeah, Sabo. Get those levels. Get those gains. Mini Sanj, trade complete. See you later. Ooh, I wonder. I wish I could read that for you, but I don't know who you are. Oh, a Toxel, they're so cute. I will take care of Brilalula. Electric poison. They're so cute. Their evolution's pretty cool too, so let's check them out real quick. Wow, look at that, guys. We got six members in the very first episode. We haven't even battled anybody yet, except friggin' Hop. No, we didn't even battle him, did we? Not yet. Who were they breeding him? He's got a good attack, low defense. Dark ghost and bug type moves scare the Pokemon and boost its speed stat. Oh, that's awesome. And then we've got the standard moves. Yep. Somebody's trying to get a shiny Toxel. Well, I'll take this one. Thank you. Alright guys, looks like we're done this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode we'll be going to the Badoo Inn and falling asleep like that guy demanded us to do. So we can get to the opening ceremony. Don't forget to like, subscribe, jingle that little bell, and I'll see you around next episode.